I suppose, um, yeah, they have been strong off the, out of the blocks. You know, that's just maybe a reflection of maybe those games. But, um, you know, we, we would prepare for all sorts of scenario-based, you know, situations just like that in training, you know, where you some days you get off to a roaring start and you're up 10. Right, we'll start the game now, you're up 10. So you have to keep that lead, maintain that lead, try and build in that lead. And other days then you're going to train and you're going to say, right, lads, you're, you're down six or you're down eight. You know, how are you going to react now? So, you know, all teams are doing that type of preparation in terms of, you know, scenario-based preparation. Well, it better be. Uh, you know, there's no guarantees that what was will be. You know, that's the way it has to be. And we, we know the players well enough now to know that they will bring a, a significant challenge now. Like, there's 36 of them there. There's 35 of them fit. Paul, unfortunately, is unable to, to participate. But he's very much uh, a part of our group at the same time. He's been with us right throughout the year and has hardly missed his training session, I'd say. Uh, despite his injury even, you know, so he's with us at the weekend even. But like, yeah, there's lads there chomping at the bit uh, to get back in, to get a place in the 26 or to get a place in the 15. And it's great for us because it brings a great um, jizz to our training, a real cutting edge to our training. And uh, that's what you need coming up to your next game of the championship.